Hi, it's Holly with Holly Berry Design. And over the last few years, I've been asked numerous times about the cute little heart cutouts in the tutorial I did on the split letter monogram. So I'm going to show you very quickly how to create these hearts on your own. And I'm sure that you will be able to use these to do several other projects. Uh, super easy, uh, great effect, um, obviously, by the questions I've gotten over the years. So here you go technique I've used over and over with various shapes in uh, Cricut Design Space. Um, I love it because it's free, doesn't cost me anything. I'm simply using the shapes that are included in Design Space. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on my shapes and I'm going to add a heart to my project. And then I'm going to add a second heart. All right, so I'm going to take this second heart twist it over just a little bit and then make it smaller. Now, how I've asked, been asked several times, what do you mean when you say grab both items? So literally this one's highlighted. I've clicked on it. I can move it around as I want. Um, then I'm going to hold my shift button down and I'm going to then click on my other heart. Now, both of my hearts, as you can see over here, are highlighted. And then I'm just going to hit the slice button. Okay, so I'm going to back up for a second to show one thing that's been asked over and over is that slice button does not light up until you are have grabbed both items. So again, all I did was click on this one, then hit my shift key and then click on the other one. And now they're both highlighted and I can hit slice and now I've literally cut them out. So I'm going to take this, pull it out. And basically, I'm getting rid of all the pieces that I just cut out of that bigger heart. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add yet another heart. Again, all free in design, design space. You don't have to have subscribe to anything. These come free as part of the program itself. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller, tilt it a little bit more. Just kind of play with it till it looks the way you want it to look. Now I've kind of got this nice shape here. Now, in order to cut that out of something, it's got to be more, it's got to be all one piece. Because when you slice, you can only have two pieces that you grab and then you slice between those two. So what I do is I make this one item. Again, I highlight this one. I hit my shift key. I grab my heart and I hit weld. And now, as you can see, that is one item. Okay, it's not, I don't, I'm only clicking on it once, it's just one item. And then what I did to cut it, oops, not that, uh, what I did to cut it out of my monogram, let's assume this is the lower part of the M in my monogram video. I basically, and this is going to show up in the front, so I'm going to send it to the back. All right, so I took this piece, I literally just put this in here, twisted it around a little bit to give it a cute angle, stuck it there. Now again, that's highlighted. I hit shift, grab my square, which in this case is representing the bottom part of the M in my monogram tutorial. I hit slice again. That's gone. Now pull that piece out. And that's how I created that cute little heart. You've got multiple sharp shapes in here you can use. You can use triangles, diamonds, stars, hearts that you can create this with. You can also import other um, shapes um, or designs that you have created on your own. You can look in the Cricut library, um, but just a simple way to add something cute. Um, and it's all your own. You make it what it is and you can adjust it to the size, shape, everything that you want. So I hope that answers all the questions I've gotten over the years on the hearts in my, mono my split monogram tutorial. Thanks so much. Have a great day.